I'm a little bit younger than Ange, and I'll just try and, I don't know, get him on the ground and kind of count him out. Why does my dad call you Super Frank? <laughs> okay. My playing career, I played at Chelsea for uh, 13 years, and I think probably about a year or two into playing there, um, they started to sing the song Super Frank. I won't, I won't sing it for you. Why is Everton better than Liverpool? <laughs> See, that's the toughest question I've had in a long time. Listen, Liverpool have had a lot of success, um, particularly in you know the, the last few years, winning certain things. But I think when I, when I came to Everton, I really understood that there's something really passionate about Everton as a, as a club. The, uh, the fan base and how they feel about the club. And we, we experienced that last season when all the fans used to turn up like you know, three or four hours before the game, give us these incredible welcomes. Um, and the players really reacted to that. So I, I feel I'm not here to talk down Liverpool, but I certainly know with Everton, um, we have this amazing fan base, an amazing history of being in the, in the, the top uh, league in England for so long. So there's so many great things about this club. So that's why we're the best. What homework do you give the players? We give them uh, a lot of video analysis of their games. So sometimes we'll give the players on their phones or on iPads that they can take away and, and watch our position, watch back their own games so they can watch themselves back. Sometimes it's for good things, sometimes it's for things that they can maybe improve. Um, but it's really important for them to, to do that and to take that on board because when they take them away and they kind of come up with their own solutions, it's really helpful about getting the right answer rather than me telling them all the time what they should do. So it's a good part of what we do. Do they get in trouble if they don't do it? <laughs> they get in big trouble. <laughs> um, I'm not, no, I, I'm not um, um, like a big uh, dictator, like a big headmaster that would sort of want to tell them off. I think it's important that the players feel that they can um, speak to me about a lot of things and if it's something that they don't understand I'd much rather them come and ask me um, like kind of what I mean or what did I, what did I want to show them rather than think that they have to do it or they're going to get in trouble. So I, I try not to be too strong like that so they don't really get in trouble unless they do something really badly wrong which they don't really do. Who is the naughtiest player in the team? <laughs> I'm actually really lucky because I haven't got many naughty players. Um, I played with some at different times and maybe sometimes I was a bit naughty as a player when I was younger, but no, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe some of the cheekier ones would be like the younger ones, like Anthony Gordon, players like that, who are, who are younger and sometimes you know, they can sort of chat back to you a little bit and say little funny things back, but I haven't got anyone who's really naughty, no, we're, we're lucky like that. When was the last time you yelled at a player? Um, it was about a week ago. It's one of those, I think sometimes when you have a real passion for your job, um, that you can lose your call because I think everyone's disappointed, you know, and it's my job to maybe say the really important things about why we need to be better because, you know, thousands of fans come to watch us all the time, people are supporting us all over the world. So I lost my call a little bit, but because I, hopefully I can speak to the players a lot, it's really easy for me to come in the next day and actually explain really what I, went, what I meant to say and maybe sometimes your passion can get the better of you um, because the best things said are the ones that you say without losing your call. So I try not to lose my call too much. Who would win a um, wrestling match, you or Ange Postigogol? <laughs> <laughs> that was a better effort than I would make on that name. That was good. I'm, I will stick with Ange, okay? I, I know who you're talking about, the Celtic manager. I think I will win. I'm a little bit younger than Ange. And um, I'll just try and, I don't know, get him in a hold, get him on the ground and kind of count him out. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.